Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 471. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook 466 to 471. Hey, in this trick here, someone asked, they had patients, and these were uh, treatment dates, and there was a bunch of dates, and they were completely uh, unsorted, and they needed to see them in a sorted order. Now, horizontal sorting can be um, done but you, you <coughs> excuse me yeah you, uh, you'd have to actually do each individual one I don't know how to do them all at once unless you know how to re write VBA so I'm just going to do it with a formula over here actually the formula is pretty uh, straightforward same little um, uh, template here and we'll just use the large function and the array will use of values we want to sort those and it's going to be relative when we copy it down, but guess what? When we go over here and here, it needs to be locked, so I'm going to hit the F4 key one, two, three times. Lock the column, but not the row. Comma. What does large do? If we put a 1 as K, it gives us uh, the max. If I put a 2, it gives me the second biggest. So we'll use a, form, a number incrementer inside of our formula. We'll use the columns function. What cell are we in? We're in K2, so I'll type dollar sign K to lock the column, 2 colon K2. What does this do? How many columns are there? It says S says how many. There's only one from K to K. This is locked. This is not. So when it moves this way, this will be K. This will move to L. It'll be 2 when it gets to this column. Exactly what we want. Large gets a 1, 2, 3, 4 as we copy this direction. I'm going to control enter copy it over I actually could have done the whole range there and then double click and copy it down oh but we get a num error because some in some cases there's blanks no problem with all of the cells still highlighted I'm going to click up in the active cell and hit F2 now I'm going to use an, a 2007 function just to show those of you that uh, don't have 2007 and 2010 is coming out. They just there's so many incredible things, and this is one of them. If error, if error, value, comma, and then you just say what to put in the cell. If this this whatever the value is, however big the formula is, comes out to be an error. Double quote, double quote. We'll put a blank. Close parentheses. I've highlighted all the cells and editing to repopulate all the cells. I hold Control and tap Enter. <clears throat> now, I'm going to highlight all of these and show you. Sometimes you don't want them in this order. This is the latest date. Maybe you want the earliest date. Control V. Oh, let's not do it that way. That wasn't such a smart move because it brought all the relative cell references down. I'm going to delete. Go get this one right here. Copy. Escape. Come down here and highlight, and then in the active cell, I F2, Control V. Now, oh, the only difference to sort it in um, small, the smallest one first is I'm going to use the small. So small and bo both small and large will work in this situation. Control Enter. Control Enter populates all those cells. Sure enough, now we get the earliest to the latest. latest. Now, what if you have earlier versions? Highlight all the cells, and in the active cell, equals if and we say is error control V oops I got all of that junk there and I don't want <coughs> that so I just want all I want is this lo this large part right here or the small whichever one you're doing right and so in early version you used is error and then is error would be the logical test. It would give a true or a false. Comma, if it is an error, we want double quote, which is a blank. Otherwise, comma, the value of false, which means it's not an error, control V. Close parentheses, control enter to populate all the cells. So there you have it. Um, a quick, nice, easy way um, to get sorted data horizontally. All right, we'll see you next trick.